gonna feel a little loopy, okay? But finally, I can breathe. Ew, babe. You look cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. But not better than your friend. Your friend who be having on them gray basketball shorts be swinging. I be like, yo, shawty with the gray short. <laughs> you said the nigga feel loopy. Yes, feel loopy, yeah. your friend fine. I wish I would have got with your friend before I got with you because you the ugly friend and I didn't even know. A wise man once said, drunk words are sober thoughts. Just you and me now. I'm gonna touch you. <laughs> Alright, dude. What the flip? Hey, excuse me. Uh, what do you do for a living? You already know. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yep. This girl probably has more mileage than her own car. This girl has a higher body count than John Wick's. This girl has ran through more pipes than Mario. This girl has recruited more seamen than the U.S. Navy. This girl has handled more packages than UPS. But wait! There's more! But um, I am stepping back from doing... Uh, so what, what shifted? What changed? Um, over the past few months, I've gotten... I've become really unhappy. Uh, and regretting certain decisions that I've made. Yeah. Like regretting just like making that kind of content or like just... Um, there's like, there's so many different factors. The first one is my parents. My parents, it took a while for them to be proud of me. They're proud of me now that I'm 24 and I'm financially stable. Yeah. Um, but they, they, I don't think they like what I do. To translate this in the language of the woman knees, what she's trying to say is she is getting tired of getting ran through just like the yellow light. And now that she has her bag, her money, she wants to leave. But unfortunately, sweetheart, the internet is forever undefeated. Hello, everyone! Hey! I've got great news! My sister's having a baby! I'M GONNA BE A DAD! I'M GONNA BE A DAD! <laughs> I wanna fuck. Like, you know? I'm trying to get in your pants. Like, I'm gonna rub your back, I'm gonna cook you a meal, and, like, you're gonna give me amazing back shots, and we're gonna I, But night. here's the thing, right? I don't care how good you are in bed, how good you suck dick. If you are a quarrelsome woman, if you bring co conflict into my life, if you don't add yeah. value beyond just the sex that you're yeah. bringing, I don't care how fucking good well, you no, are in I mean, bed. I'm a good girlfriend and shit, but imagine you're like stressed out and like you're just like, oh, you're just like, oh, I'm so stressed. And like your girl just gets on her knees and she's like, baby, come on. Like, you know, like I'm every more... man wants head when they're stressed out. I'm sucking the stress out of you. She, 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 she. When I'm going through a midlife crisis, the last thing I want from a girl is a blowski because a couple of sucky suckies is not going to help me solve my problems. My brothers, we must stay focused. They caught their homie's current girlfriend cheating at the party on his birthday. So, guys, I just want to say hi. I'm Adriana. This is Miss Kazumi. Hi, everyone. So, I know I had a lot of people who were super excited. Totally counts. See, it counts. Totally counts. What? I'm pretty sure going down or otherwise having to keep men and women separate. <laughs> or, or what about saying, like, I love you? That's a body. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, for sure. The reason why I think I have so much, um, that I think the reason why I have so much, like when people are like, no, no way 5,000. I'm like, for sure. Because when I used to go to festivals, I'd be like, if you can find me, I'll give you a free. So I literally like at festivals, I think in one night, you have like 50 or 60. And like their three day event. Do completion? For sure. Yeah. No way. And I even got most of them to sign model releases. How are you not dead? Like, I know. I mean, I always like that when I did those like random stranger gang days, I guess they were wearing yeah but luckily i'm alive yeah <laughs> this girl has collected more dna than the fbi she is detective of the year a certified meat 
Inspector. This girl has taken down more boxers than Mike Tyson. I eat your asshole alive, you bitch. Fuck you, you hoe. This girl has ridden more trains than a conductor. This girl has handled more wood than Ikea. He needs some milk. You have to say to people out there that are struggling with specifically porn addiction on how to quell that. I don't know, go get help. Like, that's not my problem. Like, I didn't make you addicted to it. Like, I, I know it sounds very cruel, but like, it's not up to me to like, console you or fix you. Like, you need to like, go see a therapist and get help. <laughs> a licensed therapist. I think it's the only good thing in our society right now. The only good thing? Only good thing as of right now. It's like you go into a mode and release all the negativity in the world that's going on. And it's just having a sexual fun time. I don't see anything wrong with that. It's not hurting nobody. Physically, mentally, nothing. If anything, is distressing you. Tech These girls are the perfect example on how corn is bad for your mental health. Andrew Tate. It feels happen. so good to release your nut, like so good. Just like the nut feeling, the, it's the best, bro. Just when you're listening, feels, that, hold on. But it feels when, when better, you, listen, but it feels better to do it. Yeah, but it feels better to do it inside of a woman who you love to build a beautiful I family. I agree, I agree with you, I agree with you, but bro, like, even just beating your meat, you beat your meat, right? Absolutely and utterly not. God is always watching. It's disgusting. It's embarrassing. Mm. Next time you're jerking off, understand that God is watching you. And imagine what you look like. Imagine the look on your face. Imagine your expression. Would you put that video on the internet? Imagine how everyone would laugh at you. Well, God is laughing at you, Aiden. This is why he made his girl leave you. Stop jerking off. Stop being a dickhead. All right. You need to grow. All right. My bad, bro. Stop crying over these hoes. Get your ass up. You're acting like there's a shortage on some hoes or something. Hoes are the most renewable resource on this planet. Get your ass up. <laughs> Um, I personally think that everyone should have the confidence in themselves as a 10. If you have the confidence in yourself that you are a 10, that you will attract people to your confidence. Let's say a girl next to me, she's, I don't know, truthfully isn't very attractive, but everyone tells her, yep, girl, you're a 10 out of 10. Don't ever settle for anything less. She, she might start going after certain guys, whatever, who aren't within her uh, league or her whatever and she's gonna constantly get heartbroken. I kind of want to just bounce to be honest um, oh. so I'm go. Seriously, yeah, because we're bit. just uh, you're that triggered over no, this conversation. I... Why are you running? Why are you running? That's his role as a man. Okay to be a leader. Okay. That what is... if what if so these are your preferences, correct? Yes, and I would argue most women probably want these things, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What if I said women that want a man who's better than a man of your regard are stupid short and weak and that's okay. That's your opinion. No, no, no. Hold on. I sound stupid, don't I? For saying that. No, you just sound no, no, like no, that's it's, your... it's, It is stupid. Let's keep it. Let's call a spade a spade. That's your opinion. If I were to say that women are stupid, weak, short, and inadequate for wanting a man that's taller, stronger, makes more money than them, I would sound like a moron because these are hardwired traits that women look for in men, which is natural. Mm -hmm. It's reality. Why is it that when a man says, I want a young, a younger woman, Who's gonna be feminine and submissive and follow my lead? That's considered being a pushover. That stop the show. Hold on. <laughs> See what I did there? I took your biological wants mm -hmm. and I demonized them, and I mm -hmm. sounded like a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. Why is it that it's okay for women to demonize a man's biological wants and not be an idiot? You see, feminist will always choose the side that benefits them. But when the side does not work in their favor, when they are held accountable for their actions, they use these four things. Shame, insults, need to be right, and guilt. Now, Mr. Kevin Samuels, may you come preach to the gospel. If you're a woman over 27, it's time to sell. <laughs> if you're a woman over 30, it's time to put some, it's the sign, it's time to mark this shit on 50% off. If you're over 35, it's time to put that shit on clearance. If you have 40, it's time to put that shit at the outlet. If you have 50, Salvation Army. <laughs> What's the matter? I really like Asian guys and you guys are mad at me. Excuse me. The guy you were just picking out with was not even close to Asian. And for all of you ladies who want to bring home a sexy Asian man, this is what you do. What's the best way to introduce my 
Filipino boyfriend to my family. Everybody's very white, and um, I don't know. I'm super nervous about the whole, I guess, interracial thing, as bad as that sounds. Because, like, my family's not racist, but still just, like, a different culture. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean, honey. Yeah, it's not, it's just date, a little bit of daytime racism, baby, what you're talking about. That's nothing, you know, nothing violent, nothing crazy, just, you know, every now and then, you you know, it's like you got something stuck in your teeth. You didn't even have any meat, but you just have, like, what is that? Damn, is that an N-word? You know what I'm saying? You just, you don't know, sometimes you're like, that hat, you know, that's from previous cultures. Sometimes we still get things stuck in our teeth, uh, just because other people been having beef. But yeah, I think the best way probably to introduce a Filipino to some whites, I would do a ethnicity reveal where you put them in a box or put them behind a tree. Uh, and then you let your family guess what ethnicity is going to be. And get one of those smoke things. And maybe it makes, I don't want to say yellow smoke. I mean, that's, you can't do that. That's racist. Um, just you know what don't do the smoke thing have him come out from behind the tree and gentlemen that's it for today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe